switching up the angles here. I have you guys in a cabinet. But today is Friday and I need to have a freaking productive day. You guys know that I only drink caffeine on Fridays and it is my like go day. I literally feel invincible when I have some caffeine in me. So if you're addicted to caffeine, I highly recommend breaking the addiction and only using it on specific days. I made a to-do list last night and it is, it is long. Like, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it is long, it is, probably longer than I can actually get done today, but we're just gonna try it. I want to write captions for six lemonade posts. I have some started already and I have some ideas kind of fleshed out, but it's still gonna take me a little while. I also have two staff trainings that I need to do for substitute teaching so that I can teach at some other school districts in the area. I need to film B-roll at the coffee shop because we are going to a coffee shop today. I need to write short form content ideas and like, you know, like the short form content that's like the aesthetic image with, not like an image, but like the aesthetic video clip that like loops and there's like some kind of text on it. I want to write a bunch of those because there's a lot of my Lemonade content that I think would translate well into those kind of videos. And I don't know, that's just gonna be one of my niches for short form content creation. We're still trying to figure out what my niches are. I'm struggling with it, but I have to create in order to stop struggling with it. So we're creating. And then I also need to edit a YouTube video. That is probably going to be something that happens later tonight, but we'll see when it gets done because it might get done tomorrow. But I need to get out of here and go to the coffee shop. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'll take you guys along and then fill you in on what I get done while I'm at the coffee shop. I love working at coffee shops. So excited, let's go. Most of the work that I got done at the coffee shop was writing lemonade captions. I really like taking the time at coffee shops to write things because it's kind of a distraction free place for me because when I'm at home, I tend to get distracted by wanting to do home projects or clean something or whatever it is. But when I'm in a coffee shop, I can really just put on some peaceful music, let the background ambiance immerse me and just really focus on what I'm writing. And I tend to get a little bit better content ideas and just captions when I'm at a coffee shop. And today was no exception to that. I really poured my heart out into some lemonade captions. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I just love sitting at coffee shops. If you work from home, I highly suggest just taking one day a week and going and getting out of your space because I think it really helps us to just think a little bit differently than we normally do. I got a lot done in the coffee shop. I didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to because I was planning on staying longer, but I am literally freezing right now. I don't know why it was so cold in there. It's literally warmer in my car without the heat on right now than it was sitting in there. I was so cold I could barely like type because my fingers are freezing, but I did get a lot of good captions written for Lemony and then also some B-roll just to use for like short form content and then also some photos for Lemonade um, just cause it's really cute in there. So I like to get photos every time I go to this particular coffee shop. I had a really good session. I actually was getting a little bit emotional in there because I was writing a couple different posts for Lemonade that just, I don't know, they just like, things have really been clicking over there for me. And I just really feel like I know exactly the audience that I'm writing to. And that honestly is like my younger self. If you guys like have been here for a long time, you know that I struggled with a lot of like mental things in college and like eating disorder, like disordered eating and just like a lot. And I'm really writing to like that girl. And I also like write a lot of like relationship posts and like honestly like posts about things that like people don't normally talk about. And a lot of things that I didn't necessarily get like a lot of exposure to when I was younger and those posts do really well and I get all kinds of comments from girls just being like, no one has ever taught me this and like, this is so incredibly helpful and I know that's because like I'm writing from a place of like these are the things that I wish that I knew when I was 16 or even like 20 like in college and it just feels so like rewarding and just like to know that I'm like helping my younger self because that's always been my goal with like social media has been to create content that 
shares my story in a way that helps other people. There's a quote that says, your story will one day be someone else's guidebook, and that truly is the type of content that I want to create, and I feel so connected to that on Lemonade, and I really want to bring that to this channel. I just... I don't know like how to do that. Like I would love for my brand across all social media to be focused on that. Like on Lemonade, I have kind of branded myself as like your internet big sister and that is like what I want. I just don't know how to create that content on YouTube because like honestly I don't see that content so I don't know what it looks like but I feel like I just need to like create that and also it's really scary like I feel like lemonade just feels like this little like bubble that just feels really really safe and I can like talk about the things that like were challenging for me in college that maybe I can't talk about anywhere else <laughs> And I don't know why I feel that way about Lemonade specifically, but like I do. Maybe I will start moving my content here in that direction because it really does feel so authentic to me and just good. Like it feels good to create that content. So yeah, I was tearing up in there, <laughs> just being honest. But I'm also like starting to PMS. Uh, my period's supposed to start next week and I swear I could feel the moment that my body like moved from like ovulating to like i was getting confused between follicular and luteal but it's my luteal phase like i could feel the moment that my body was like nope we're done ovulating you're obviously not getting pregnant let's go ahead and shift on over to your follicular phase i don't know if that's actually something you can feel but i swear i could feel it the other night and it is here we are pmsing so yeah i was getting a little bit teary-eyed but uh it's fine i I just, I love the content I'm creating over there, so go follow me. Okay, let's go ahead and head home, eat a little something, and then continue to get some work done and also warm up. Salad hit. Fork on ground. <laughs> Salad kit with leftover chicken on top. I'm gonna eat this and continue writing some stuff. Yes, I just put my fork back in there. My floors are clean, right? I don't know. Got cheese everywhere. It's fine. It's totally fine. I, I'm freezing still. Okay, I'm currently about to take some pictures for Lemonade. And a lot of the pictures that I need for Lemonade are kind of like generic general background pictures. So this specific post is about intimacy, in all honesty. <laughs> so I'm taking some pictures of just like our bed sheets and like blankets and whatnot. And that's just a really good way to like represent that. And then like, I just have a bunch of words that I've typed out on the screen. So like, I don't need really specific pictures, but I do need like pictures of something. So that is what I'm doing. I already have a few pictures on my phone that I've taken in the past, but I just want some like new fresh ones, especially because we did move our bedroom into a different room. So it does look a little bit different, which has been really good for my inspiration recently. So I'm going to just take some pictures really quick. Super simple, like so simple. That was literally it. I just took two pictures. So I just need like really simple things like this, which I edit like in the actual Lemonade app and I have like kind of an aesthetic that I have over there, which is super easy. I have like a filter that I use all the time. So I just add my photos in and then I used the overcast filter on Lemonade and it just kind of gives it like a moody dark tone and that's really good for me to put text on top of. I feel like it's really dark. I'm a little bit dark right now. Okay, the light in here is a little bit better. But I really like to use that particular filter for posts because it's really easy to lay text on top of that. And then I also like to go in and just reduce the exposure and inc increase the contrast a little bit. And that just really gives me a post that's really nice to be able to put text on top of. So I'll just do that with both of my photos and then I've already written out the words that I want to put on there. So all I have to do is go into my content planning hub within Notion and then just like copy and paste the words and then format them so that they look good. And that is pretty much how I make 
laminate posts. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the office and finish up this post. Then I'm gonna actually start editing. I was originally going to try to get as much writing done this morning as I could, but I think I'm actually gonna be going out of town tonight. So Brandon has a relative that lives up north. It's his uncle and he's gonna go visit him tonight. And Brandon really wanted me to come with him and I originally wasn't going to, but we actually have a lot of snow in the forecast in the next week or so. And Brandon does snow removal, which means I probably won't get to see him a whole lot in the next few days, uh, like over the weekend and going into the beginning of next week. So I think I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to just like spend some time with him, like on the drive there and whatnot. But I still have a lot of work to get done. So I think I'm gonna edit now and then bring my laptop or just honestly type on my phone and get a little bit more writing done on the drive there because it's about an hour and a half long drive. So that'll give me just a little bit more time to get some work done. And then I'll like just like hang out with him and like his family tonight. And then like tomorrow I'll probably work a little bit more on the drive back and then we'll come back and then it'll be Saturday and I'll do whatever the hell I need to do tomorrow. So I think that's actually the plan. It's currently 1.45, so I really need to get cranking on some editing. So let's go ahead and go to the office, finish up my lemonade post, and get some editing done. Does anybody else like have to have a blanket when they are at their desk? Because I have to have a blanket when I'm at my desk. Especially right now, because I'm still freezing. I'm really tired of it being cold, guys. Brandon and I are actually just talking today about moving somewhere warmer so I don't know maybe we'll be moving to a warmer climate at some point because it's really cold here currently just finishing up some editing still I'm not quite as far along as I'd like to be because it is almost four o'clock now and Brandon's gonna be home pretty soon here and then he'll just get around. I'll pack myself a little bag and then we will head off to his family's house. I love having two monitors because I can watch YouTube videos over here while I edit, like the parts where I'm not talking, obviously. Obviously I can't like edit while I'm talking while somebody else is talking because that'd be really confusing. But I have been loving the unplanned podcast recently. I just like randomly stumbled across an episode and they, I don't know, they just talk about like social media things and relationship things and I don't know, it's just fun. So I'm watching their one with the Taylor Lautner's, so Taylor Lautner, Lautner and then Taylor Lautner's wife, who are both named Taylor Lautner. Um, I just started it, but yeah, that's how I'm keeping myself entertained while I edit over here. Love my setup, love my new keyboard. It is so, so freaking cute. <sighs> just trying to get as much done as I can. I do need to pack up my laptop as well so that I can get some work done on the road. <sighs> I'm feeling really anxious right now and I know it's because of the coffee and that's why I don't like coffee, guys. Sometimes I can drink it just fine and I don't feel anxious at all, but sometimes I can't take myself seriously with these on. Sometimes it makes me so anxious. I think Brandon's home. 